day six of solving math problems in C until Nvidia hires me. So we're told that the sum of the squares of the first 10 natural numbers is one squared plus two squared, adding all the way up to 10 squared is equal to 385. And the square of the sum of the first 10 natural numbers is one plus two, adding up all the way to 10 squared, which is equal to 55 squared, which is equal to 3025. Hence, the difference between the sum of the squares of the first 10 natural numbers and the square of the sum is 3025 minus 385, which is equal to 2640. And we have to to find the difference between the sum of the squares of the first 100 natural numbers and the square of the sum. This problem is straightforward, so I'm going to get right into it. We're going to need a main method, and in our main method, we're going to need two variables, square sum and sum squares. We're going to say long square sum is equal to zero, and we're going to say long sum squares. Next, we're going to need a for loop to loop through the first 100 natural numbers. So we're going to say four in i is equal to one. i is smaller than or equal to 100. And then we're going to say, oops, I plus plus. So in our for loop, we're just going to add I to square sum. And then after the loop, we'll multiply square sum by itself to square the total sum. And for some squares, we're just going to add I squared to some squares. We're going to say square sum plus equals I and sum squares plus equals I times I. And then outside of the loop, we're going to do square sum times equals square sum. And finally, we're going to have to calculate the difference. So for a result, we're going to do long res is going to equal sum squares minus square sum. And since we're just calculating the difference, we're going to need the absolute function from the standard IO library. And then here, we're going to wrap this in the abs function. And finally, we can print out our result using print F. And let's not forget to include the standard IO library. And then we could just return our main function. Now we compile our file, then we run our file. And it looks like our answer is 25,164,150. Let's check if it's correct. Guys, and it looks like our answer was correct. See you guys on day seven.